So hey everyone, this is Candice from Phoenix Belly Dance and with me I have the beautiful Anasma from France and she's been spending the last week and a half in New Zealand and I've just had a wee little interview with her so we thought we'd share that with you and uh, you can get to know her a bit better for those who didn't get to attend the retreats. So thank you so much Anasma for thank visiting you, us. Thank you it was and... a big pleasure. <laughs> um, so tell me about 1984 now, the show that you produced. Um, it's been an adventure and a big labor of love. This uh, show uh, was inspired by George Orwell's 1984, so by a book. And uh, I had been looking for a story that I could uh, base um, all my characters on. And when I read it um, a few years ago, I thought that it was amazing because I could uh, find space uh, to connect the little devil. Yes. Fallen Angel uh, with uh, its reversed values and uh, I could also make the character grow into something um, more dark mm -hmm. and uh, with a political message. Uh, it also had space for Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that piece. Yes, <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, um, also the one that I call uh, Miss Liquid, which basically she's just um, the consciousness of the main character. So always wondering if there's some uh, better way of living and a better world out there. And uh, the Love Soldier. So, and it was great. Uh, I um, uh, yeah. Rewrote uh, the story, took some quotes of the book, also used uh, my album, singing yes. album. So uh, we reworked on some of the songs with my composer. Uh, <clears throat> we reorchestrated all the songs that I had. So these were existing choreographies, but because I wanted to have the rights, um, the day the DVD comes out, or when I'm gonna do the show again, mm -hmm. um, if I can sell it in big theaters, then I need to have the rights. Absolutely. So everything was made again, and we worked from the video and created the music accordingly. So it was a very interesting process to go deeper with my request of creating music for dance and. Uh, um, yeah, and then writing more lyrics was really a, a super experience. Yeah. Uh, so getting to sing again, uh, maybe it was two years after the, the, my first album was recorded, okay. so I had another awareness of my own mm -hmm. vocal yeah. possibilities. And, uh, yeah, it was really great uh, and very difficult also because I. I I learned many things in the process of being uh, the director, the dancer, the choreographer, yes. like the designer, ad, the artistic director, but at the same time, each yeah. different uh, job, I was doing it different myself, hats, so. yeah. But it's a solo yeah. show, right? So you're the only performer in the show, or it's the other, okay. No, it's not a solo show, so okay. it has uh, two actors, okay. um, my friends uh, Chiara and Massimo from uh, Italy, Spain. Cool. And uh, their company is Compagnia de Lignoni, so I work with them on different projects. Uh, this one is one of them, and then they also invited me in their show oh, cool. that is really great uh, about the theater of senses. Yeah. So it's uh, an installation that's put up in museums, or Amazing. we've had to do it in a residency once. And it's like a labyrinth where each spectator comes in one at a time and has a private show for 20 minutes just for him. It's incredible. Really? Wow. And, uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> and thanks to Kiana Massimo, and also now the fact that the show has been done two years ago, I had time to digest it, I had yeah. time to detach from it, I had time to love it and also not hate it, but just I just needed distance mm -hmm. and a break. And now that I am, uh, I have healed yeah. <laughs> from, from it and giving birth to this huge baby. Um, now I'm able to look at the video and say that works, that doesn't. I can have the real role of a director now that yeah. I'm really outside. Yes. Um, it's very difficult to be in and out at the same mm. time. Tell us a little bit of maybe one of your secrets of how you create your characters or what you do to get yourself into your character when you're performing it. Or, you know, just, there's so many amazing characters you've created, but what's the magic? What's the, what's the secret? Ah, the secret. <laughs> or one of the many secrets. I'm 
Well, um, I think the first, uh, the most important thing is to choose a character that is somehow related to you. Uh, I think all the characters I've had so far were all different facets of me, and that's um, also coming back to the question about 1994. Now, as I was editing all those photos of me in different perspectives, as a dictator, as a um, as a devil, as a humorist, as a consciousness, as different citizens, I realized I'm really all of this, the dark and the light. And, um, and so it's very interesting to just accept that, yes, I can be catty in all, this, like, all the different terms mm -hmm. of, um, of being a cat. Yes. You know, not just the literal animal, but yeah. Uh, I love uh, I love to get caressed. I love to be independent. Like I I try yeah. and see how I can relate. Um, when I was uh, Prince Charming, <laughs> it was funny. The first time that I did the piece, uh, I created it for a DVD. Uh, and after the shoot, it was 11:30 when I was back on the subway, and I realized I was sitting like a guy and like, looking at this girl's. Um, Dress, I'm like shit, get out of here! <laughs> it was very funny. Like, I really so go 100% cool. or 300% in the character, and so um, getting ready as I put on makeup with the evil laugh is part of being the character. Yeah, wow. um, and um, yeah, just taking something that just uh, calls me. Yeah, you know, yeah. And if it doesn't have, then I'm gonna try and see if I have a meeting. Yeah. And of course, some days or some peers, uh, I feel that I'm closer to some characters than some others. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle if I send my lighting uh, design or needs uh, a month in advance or three months in advance, and yeah. I don't feel the same of about course. the character. So I've had moments like this where I still had to reconciliate or distantiate. Mm -hmm. um, so it can happen. You have. Ups and downs in any performance, and so even the way you relate to your own choreography yeah. or character is part of the game. Yeah. Cool. Yes. <laughs> so tell me about your theatrical dance conference, the one that you ran with Rania. So uh, the theatrical belly dance conference um, was born in 2010, the first edition. Uh, we've had five large editions so far, and also smaller events, uh, uh, one day long intensive, or so, sometimes um, some intensive we brought to Paris, Sweden, Japan. Mm. Um, That's cool, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it, so it has smaller formats, yeah. um, and uh, with only two of us, and then uh, yeah. there's already a lot we can cover together, but yeah. in the large edition it's really great because we, uh, we've we had between 15 and 20 or 21 teachers some years. Um, it's a big challenge to organize, it takes a yeah. village yeah, <laughs> just as for the retreat. Yeah. Except that you, well, I'm really very grateful and appreciative for all your work because you, you do all the preliminary work on your own and yeah, for the conference we really need a team of 10 people working for wow. a year, basically. Wow. Uh, and yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes yeah. we have uh, um, to... Yeah, challenge ourselves, finding mm. the right people in the team, and then now that we have, well, we've had an amazing team lately, yes. so the, I mean, each year we've had amazing yeah. volunteers, but it's always a learning uh, experience yeah. to see how we can yeah. improve the organization. Yeah, and I really like what you were telling me about how the teachers work collaboratively on the topics for the conference, because you have themes for each day, or, or the whole conference. Yes. So. Um, Tell us a little bit more yeah. about how that works. Well, that was yeah. one of the challenges because um, sometimes we wanted to like uh, have certain topics and then we've asked teachers to create uh, their topic according to our proposals. Yeah. And so this year we've had a bit more flexibility where we um, created uh, the chapters out of what the teachers were sending us and yeah. we tried sometimes to... So we... <clears throat> we used to have uh, themes that were for the whole day, so four times an hour and a half that was yeah. complementary with each wow. other. Um, and so the idea then was to have uh, 
also a different teacher of the day call on a conference call. So yeah. that's other more coordination. <laughs> <laughs> but so we would make sure the material was not repeating, and if if it did, we would just mention. Um, a different perspective yeah. or maybe you worked on this this morning with uh, such and such but this is a different take mm. or that's my point of view and I'm that's going to so expose cool. that so it's really cool and I really think really valuable for the participants thing absolutely well, yeah. I think uh, it's something that I see more and more in different events mm. um, and that I keep doing even if it's not with the theatrical conference, for yes. example, that I um, that I have uh, topics, but now I really love the collaborative um, workshops yeah. and work, and I think it makes um, a lot of sense because that's how I think we learn profoundly. That yeah. we bring our luggage from the past, and this is how we analyze today. Yeah. So I think the fact that we also uh, accept and promote learning from different teachers uh, makes us grow uh, way faster and make, it makes the community, makes the student grow and you, you can't, um, you, can, you don't own your students, you just, you know, just like a kid, you yeah. know, give them all the tools to fight in life the best they can and then you have to let them go at some point and so and also uh, just uh, like in life you have to unlearn what you've learned for a while so yeah. there's always a phase where you're questioning what you, you know the first values you've, uh, you've had or received yeah. or, so it's, it's good Ooh, very <laughs> exciting i have to make it one day i really do uh, what's been your favorite part of visiting new zealand ah <laughs> Wow. It's difficult because just like the retreats, you do many things. <laughs> You've done so many things, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think the best part of the trip was to meet people, the people from here, those who've adopted the country, like you <laughs> and Martin, and all those amazing dancers that I've met, and also meeting Kiwis and uh, Mari and uh, neighbors, and it was really wonderful. Yeah. And. Uh, the scenery, um, the scenic views have been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, back in Hamilton, it was uh, and around that uh, area, Tewamutu was extremely green and beautiful. And um, I think Hobbiton is probably one of my highlights <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. because I love the movie. I really need to go now. Yeah, yeah you gotta go there. <laughs> and I love Disney, so things yeah. you know, like I, I appreciate. Um, the amount of detail and creativity and mm. even if it's a movie set um, I still enjoy it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> it like, yeah, relates to our worlds where we're creating stories and things. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. Cool. So. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs> oh, my boobs can't get out. <laughs> I, cut them. Well, I don't have that problem. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.